Yo, what's up, baby? It's 40 from Can't Stop Art. So we're going to start doing some painting videos soon, but I thought let's do a how to stretch a canvas on a frame video. Whenever I sell a piece of art that is shipped internationally, then I remove it from the frame. I ship it just by itself in a tube, and then I'm stuck with uh, frames, right? So I buy canvas in bulk. This is actually my repair canvas. It's not my usual replacement canvas, but there was a piece that was almost the size of this frame, so I said, let's do it, right? Um, some of the tools you need are spread out here, but instead of going to that right away, why don't I just get into it, right? The first thing you're gonna need to do is measure. So my frame right here is 46 almost by 38 centimeters, right? If you're doing inches, do inches. The point is the number is important to know for the number that you have to cut this out of. Now in this particular scenario, all I did is, I just traced it. I gave myself a little, and by the way, the bevel here uh, goes down towards the canvas. So I just kind of eyed it, made sure that it was uh, going enough to be pulled over the sides. If you weren't doing this by eyeball, what you do is you measure the canvas and this is 46 centimeters across, right? And then what I do is I measure the side of the canvas. This is a little under two, but let's say two. So two plus 46 is 48 plus another two is 50. And then you want to come in about halfway here. Halfway here is one and a half. One and a half times two is three. We've got 53 centimeters. So this canvas right here should be 53 centimeters and it is. Actually, that just worked out perfect. There is going to be some excess on this, uh, this distance, but that's fine. That's why we have scissors or a box cutter to cut it. So maybe you have some staples left in your frame. I purposely put this one in to show you the way I remove them is with a screwdriver. I dig under one side, I, I cock it up, and then I take a plier and I twist and turn. And when you turn, it will make it come up more cleanly. If you just try to yank it out, sometimes you'll break the, the staples. Maybe if the staple is old or it's been there in a long time, this is a brand new staple. I put it in right before the video just to show you how I remove staples. The next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna pick a side and you're gonna stretch that side first just with one um, thing. As you, this blue mat, by the way, is a cutting mat. I use this when I cut this uh, piece of canvas from the roll that it was on. I figure you don't need to see me do that and so I pre-cut it, but just explain how you put this puppy on. So what we're gonna do, I think, is we're gonna try to line this up in the center the best we can and then we're gonna take our staple gun, right? You need a staple gun and you need a canvas stretcher. I have some extra staples here in case the staples in here run out and you're gonna pick a side. I'm gonna pick this side first I'm gonna make sure that it comes over right here and I'm gonna find a place in the center, right? Where I'm gonna put my first staple, right? And this particular one didn't go all the way in. So maybe you even want a, uh, I'm just gonna bang it in. However, instead of doing that, uh, I could use the mallet. I didn't bring one over here. I didn't think that was gonna happen. <laughs> but the next thing is, opposite side of the staple, you're going to stretch that side first. So that's what this thing is for, is we come here, we grab the canvas, then we pick it and we pull it like this. Now it's made it taut. You can see it's even making a ripple right here. So I'm gonna, if it's uh, long enough, what you can do is leave that held, but I'm not. I'm just gonna put my finger here. I'm gonna find roughly across where the center is, put this in, boom. And I think this is putting too much, it's putting two staples in each drop. I don't know how to adjust that on this stupid thing. Probably this piece right here, right? Anyways, let's turn it a few and see if we fix it on the next one. Now that we've got two staples here, we're gonna turn this and we're gonna do one of the sides. I'm gonna pull here. Again, grab your canvas uh, stretcher. We're gonna pull, and if I just pull the tip, I can leave, well, I can leave this rough, no, maybe. There we go. I can leave this roughly on just to show you and pick somewhere in the middle and bah, boom, we fixed it by the way. Now that's only putting one staple. It was turning the knob on the top, right? Next, we're gonna come across from this particular staple and we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna take the canvas stretcher. We're gonna grab onto it. And we're gonna pull and we're gonna find the middle 
Bada bing, bada boom. And well, this time it put two again. Awesome. So actually one of them is cropped up, so I'm just gonna pick it up. However, the other one could use a little banging to get down. I need to obviously adjust this uh, stable gun. So I'm thinking right is the way, I don't know. Anyway, now that we have four staples in, you can see this thing is, is getting taut. We need to start stretching all the other sides and doing opposites. So if we pick this side, we do this side next, right? So it doesn't matter necessarily in what order you go here, but pick a side. I'm gonna pick right here and I'm gonna pull and I'm gonna use my, let go of it, use my finger to hold this in place and I'm gonna pick a middle point and boom. And again, we're getting double staples. I need to figure this out. So let's turn this a few more times. Maybe this is gonna fix it. Now, instead of putting one right here, that's not a good idea. We wanna to go to the other side. We don't wanna go opposite, we wanna go diagonal. So we're gonna come over here. We're gonna grab this portion of the canvas, pull, let go, use my finger to hold it tight, and boom. Well, that put two staples. Awesome. Whatever, we're not gonna worry about that. We're making this video. <laughs> I'm gonna figure out the staple gun later. Now, you don't wanna do this opposite sides next. What I would probably do is come and pick like here because now we have another edge. You're doing opposites to pull it in every direction. If you pull too hard in one direction, you're gonna make sure that that canvas is really stretched on one side and the other side will not have the same stretch. So try to go opposite, 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 opposite. Today's opposite day. <laughs> All right, so we have that stretched and we come here. Boom. And note to self, fix staple guns after video. We're gonna come across diagonally here. We're going to stretch this. We're gonna come here. Boom. And I'm just tapping to make sure that it's in there. Now we're gonna come back to the side that already has two staples. We'll put another staple on this side. We'll come in. I'm gonna pull, use my finger to hold it as tight as possible. Take the extra staple that went in. <laughs> it didn't do that when I uh, used a staple gun earlier. <laughs> but anyway, you know, we improvise, we adapt, we overcome. I'm gonna pull tight, use my finger to keep it there. Come over here, drop those staples in. Two of them, who cares? Now this side. Again, pull it taut. Come in with the staple gun. You did him. There we go. Come on this side, pull it taut. Extra staple. <laughs> So now we've got the basic staples. I can come back in here and put staples in between each of these, which I will do, but let's talk about the corners, right? We need to figure out how to wrap the corners. So what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna pick one side, right? Like this side, I'm gonna pull that right there, push to the corner, and I'm gonna make it like a, uh, a I don't know how to describe this, but a fold. I'm making sure that this edge is perfectly taut. I'm pulling with my finger here. I'm pushing down this top part, right? And now I just have this lip here, right? So what I can do is I can fold again here or I could come down like this and fold. And then it makes a, a little, a little, I don't know, seam or dent like this. Now this is ugly because that is uh, exposed, the bottom of the canvas. So what we can then do is then turn this in and do that. And now I have a different fold here. The point is you want to have it uh, folded and tough. And God, my explanation is not very good right now. <laughs> Gotta use words, stuck inside. <laughs> the virus is making me crazy. Anyways, we'll put a, a staples there. And now that we have the staples there, we can do the other corner. But before we go there, I'm gonna put a couple staples next to this to say that we really, it's gonna be a pain when I take the staples out if this canvas is sold at some point because it has double staples in so many it's okay. In fact, we could even put more staples here during the, what if I undo this to the left? 
just to stop wasting staples. Nope. Still two. But anyways, I put a couple extra there. It's fine. It's a little bit harder to take off later. Hopefully this canvas is not something that's shipped. <laughs> but I'm going to do the same side, uh, same thing on this side. I'm going to pull this and tuck it against the corner so this part is flat. Now I have this piece here that comes across and I have to decide what to do. I'm going to turn here, bring this in, and then like this, you see, when I tuck this, I have no exposed bottom of the canvas showing, which is perfect. In fact, I'll make sure that I don't uh, staple the, the, the end part of the canvas here, because what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it with the scissor or the box cutter, right? But we want to take the staple gun, come here, put a couple staples. We'll put one here. We'll put one there. One staple came out that time. I don't understand this, but uh, yeah. Next video, how to use a staple gun properly. All right, so you see, we can now still cut this excess canvas here to make it look cleaner later, which we're gonna do, but we still have two more corners to do. But to show you, if it sounds like a drum, then you've done this correctly. It should sound. <laughs> Anyways, enjoying myself, right? Have fun in the things that you do. Be crazy, be weird. Uh, that's all part of my creative process, right? So same thing, tuck, push this part down, come around here, come here, tuck this under, boom. Now we have the corner done. And here's another tip. Once we have this corner done, we could even come here with the canvas stretcher and pull it to make it uh, more taut, more tight. Come over here. We have no more staples, that's pretty cool. However, look at this multitasking. We lift this part down, pull it out. We get some of these staples that are going in two at a time. <laughs> are you guys enjoying your lockdown? Are you going crazy like me? I hope not. Uh, so then we're gonna come here. We can do this with one hand, right? Maybe. There we go. Come here. Now it's reloaded. This is still as taut as it was or tight. Just put in a couple staples, bang them down, put a staple here. This one didn't go at all. Sweet. I'm just going to do this like on the tightest setting. Maybe that's what will change it or there's some other magic trick that I'm not aware of. If you know, hey, leave it in the comments. If you are a staple gun expert, I've used this before without problems. I don't, oh, single. Yes! Anyway, let's go to the other side. We are going to tuck the corner, just like we've done before. When we tuck this corner, we're gonna push it flat on one edge. When this comes down, what we wanna do, pull this here and we are going to Tuck this under and pull this down. Boom. And now we have perfect edge. Yes. We're going to take our canvas stretcher. We're going to come over here, make sure it's pretty taut or tight. What is the right word, guys? Help me out here. I've gone uh, quarantine crazy, basically. So come over here in the corner. And I have, uh, it's amazing. We did one staple last time. This time it put four staples or some crazy number. Let's take a few out. What is going on, staple gun? Guys, help me. Why am I staple challenged? So, turn this more. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna put one more staple. That time, two staples. Nothing is getting fixed with this staple gun today, guys. We're gonna tighten this up just a tad. Come here, put two staples. Amazing. Here, two staples. So now this is more or less done, but we can put staples in between all of these just for further support because as you notice, this is like lifting right here. We can fix that, no problem. I'm just gonna put staples, then we're gonna trim it and we're gonna be done, right? So. It's okay, put two, I could take one out. Come 
this side. Put the extra one out. Murphy's Law, right? So you want to do this in one take because I don't want to pull the staples out and start this video over. So we're dealing with the staple gun. But it's still, this canvas is stretched as we want it to be. Maybe it has to do with me, like maybe I should be putting more weight like on the gun when I push down because that time I only put one. Anyways, guys, tell me in the comments. And this one didn't go very nice. I'm very uh, anal about certain things and this, like, that's just not good enough, so let's redo it. We all will remove these puppies, put them in our stack of wasted staples, and we come here. And it's only one staple, but it didn't go in. No, it's two. Awesome. Anyway, so now, boom, this puppy is done. Right? This thing is taut. We can play a beat on it. However, this is not pretty, right? So what do we do? Like I said, we can come here with the box cutter and we can come and we can cut this. I could even get a ruler and make this as uh, clean as possible, but I'm not worried about that. Go around the staple because I didn't even do them even. But look at that, that makes it much more clean. So I'll do that on this side, come down. go put this here and it looks like again this is I definitely wouldn't get hired at one of these art stores to do this <laughs> like I said uh, anyways in the end I don't think this matters that much how pretty it is back here but I am a little bit anal and maybe one more slice here to even things out And look, because I put the staples here, I had to go around them. So if you're careful about the even distancing, you could really make this even in the end to cut it. But this is how you stretch a canvas. So this particular canvas is not gessoed, it's not primed. And if you paint on it, you're gonna have some issues. So what you would do after you have now this stretch canvas, is you would gesso it, apply a couple of coats of gesso, gesso, and that's gonna make your canvas able to be painted easily, etc. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. And if you know how to help me work this stupid staple gun that I've used many times and not have problems with, what happened? What's different? I don't know. Is it because I'm not putting enough pressure? Is it because I'm cracking under pressure with the video? Unlikely. <laughs> anyway, guys, I hope you guys are enjoying your lockdown as much as you can. You're painting. You are, I don't know, saying staying sane, right? And etc. Until next time, guys, the next video should probably be a painting video on this. Maybe not necessarily an instructional. I'll just paint something, do a time lapse, do an overdub of some audio of me talking about what I'm doing and da da da. And let's go from there. Until next time, I'm out.